Tchaikovsky wrote his children's opera in order to introduce young aspiring pianists to the wonders and intricacies of the romantic style, especially of the so-called Russian school of piano playing, with its endless variety of touches, articulations, and tone colors. Each of the 24 little gems inspire an interpretation that is expressive but also has very finely drawn characters and moods. In this series of videos, I will consider each of the little pieces in turn and discuss their technical and interpretive problems and offer solutions. If you are interested in the fascinating but difficult history of the writing of the children's album, please watch my video entitled Tchaikovsky's Children's Album, The Light of a Dark Soul. Today, let's talk about the second movement of Tchaikovsky's children's album, Winter Morning. The piece seems to describe the kind of morning where it is cold and yucky out, but you're eager to start your day, but it is so comfortable under the covers. The main pedagogical challenge in Winter Morning is the two-note slurs, or the down-ups, as they're usually referred to. These things. two-note slurs in Bach and in Mozart, and we continue to encounter them even in contemporary composers, so it is extremely important to learn how to do them properly. Generally speaking, when we have a two-note slur, it means that the first note is going to be heavy, louder, and longer, and the second note is going to be shorter and lighter and have a feeling of coming up into the air or weightlessness. Students ask me, is it possible to achieve this effect of a down-up just using fingers alone? Simple answer is yes, you can do it, but no, you absolutely should not. It is simply too difficult to control the weight of each and every finger consciously, which you would then have to do, right? Our brain should be occupied with phrasing dynamics and so on. Instead, we should concentrate on what is the true Russian school of piano playing, which is how to use your arm, your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder, and even the rest of your body effectively to produce the sound that you want. There are two perfectly effective ways of playing two-note slurs. The first one is using your wrist. Down, up. Down. And the second way is to leave your wrist stable and straight and instead hinge your hand at the elbow, down, up. My own preference is to use the elbow two-nut slur when the tempo is very fast. And for the slower, more expressive two-nut slurs, to use the wrist but both work very well. The second pedagogical challenge in winter morning is voicing the chords. So normally, when we play a chord, we make the top note louder, right? We're voicing from the top. Beautiful, but what if you want to do something different? What if you are more interested in, let's say, the bottom part in the right hand? to voice with this heavy part of the hand. Just think about pushing the fingers in a little bit more. The important thing here is to know exactly what your intention is and what the decision making is. For example, in this little middle section, is a simple way of doing it. I have voiced the top everywhere. Well, but then comes a second repetition, and perhaps you want to do something completely different. How lovely. But then... Ooh, the melody is now hidden inside. But what if it isn't? What if it 
it's hidden elsewhere? What if it is actually on the bottom? What fun. So how do we decide which voice to bring out or how to phrase? Tchaikovsky tells us absolutely nothing. This is wonderful. That means we have freedom and we can make our own decisions and make the piece absolutely personal to us. There are many repetitions. Do it one way the first time a phrase happens and a different way when it happens again. Or, to quote Nicholas Rubinstein, the famous Russian pianist and teacher, um, who used to tell his students, do it one way when it rains and do it a different way when it's sunny. I hope I've answered a lot of your questions. If you have more, please leave them in the comments. Happy practicing.